It's my last morning at these beach fallows. It's another beautiful morning. Windless lagoon, calm seas. A stunner. I gear up once again for a quick swim out to the reef. It's not long before I find a nice fish to take home and get a good clean shot. With a big day on the road ahead, travelling to the next spearfishing location, and my sinus is playing up really badly. I turn around to start to head in after securing the fish. Just as I try to reload my gun, one of the rubber breaks, so it was definitely a sign to head back in. Got a uh, trigger fish as such, something like that. I've been going through pictures online with the, the boss here and he says this is his favourite fish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's this one? Pongi. Pongi. Nice. Just one and another one. This one's nice? Yeah, nice. Looks nice. Nice. Well guys, all packed up, moving on from the first uh, Farley spot. Just got by to the family. Really nice two days with this big family. They looked after me awesome. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Just a really cool experience, what I was looking for. So cruising on, I left them that fish from this morning. He's happy, it's his favorite fish. So they're gonna have that uh, cooked up raw for dinner. Happy days. On to the next spot and uh, see what else this country has to offer. Moving on, I decided to do a bit of exploring before I made it to the next destination. Driving through incredible lush mountainous ranges. Here you can see a classic bus you'll see all around Samoa. Pretty cool. Big waterfalls, jungle looking terrain, incredible scenery. Just a couple more pigs. A common sight throughout Samoa, pretty cool. More waterfalls, just incredible scenery. Getting really hot, I stopped off at this beautiful swimming hole, sinkhole. Just an amazing spot to have a swim. found this small fish stall on the side of the road. They seem to like the eels over here. Good selection of reef species. A couple of tuna. Getting really hot again, I decide to find another beach to have a swim at and maybe a spearfish. Well, of course I wasn't going to go for a swim without the spear gun, so gear up, jump in and swim out to the reef drop-off. I'm greeted with beautiful clean blue water. There's amazing corals here. It's looking awesome. I am in the middle of the day, so I'm not too optimistic, but happy to go for a swim and see what's about. Listen carefully and you can hear the whales in this clip. sinking down onto the coral bed, making some noise, trying to bring in some reef species. This brought the attention of a 
Reef Shark coming in here for a bit of a look. Just cruising around. Always like seeing sharks in a calm manner. A few moo here. I just couldn't quite close the gap on them, so I decided to head in. Enough sightseeing for the day. Pack up and move on down the coast to try and find another spot to spearfish at. I've got no idea where I'm going. I've done a bit of looking on Google Maps and just keep driving hoping for the best. After an hour or two I stumble across the most picturesque beach. Lined with coconut trees, white sand, a big beautiful lagoon backdrop by a big mountain range. It's stunning. Better yet, the reef drop-off's just a short swim offshore. Here's my beach fale. This was my home for the next few nights. And what a spot. Classic little foamy mosquito net. And the most incredible view out of my little beach valley. Straight out, reef in front, ready for me to go spearfishing. Awesome. I took it easy that afternoon, got a good sleep, and I was up bright and early before sunrise, out to get some fish. Couldn't wait. With still a bit of swell running into the coast, I had to punch through a few sets of waves to get out to the drop-off. Growing up on the west coast of New Zealand, I'm accustomed to a bit of surf, so this was a breeze. One last big set rolling in, and I was out into the deeper water. I see what looks to be a Maori seed perch disappear under the coral hangover here. I swim down, peeking underneath, but the fish is nowhere to be seen. Surfacing, the sun is still yet to peek up over the horizon. Amazing conditions and an incredible backdrop to go with. There's a few moo floating about, here's one that just evades me, tucking behind the coral and swimming off. I'm still fairly new to diving in the tropics, so a lot of skills to hone. This moo presents me with an easy shot, but I don't want to bend or blunt my spear into the reef behind. I wait for it to swim off and take a long shot, but no luck there. Not long later, I spot a moo down below, red snapper. It's milling around, buzzing around, looking for bait fish. I get down as low as I can on the reef here and tuck behind this small shelf. I've got some good cover, rattling my gun, scratching the coral, trying to bring the fish in, and sure enough, here it comes for a look. Stretch out and take the shot. As soon as I pull the trigger, I know I've aimed slightly low, hitting it mid-body. The fish takes off, 
down into the coral, trying to hide in a cave, rip me off, just trying to escape. I get some air, look down and the fish is all tangled on the reef. With the sun barely rising above the horizon, still dark and gloomy, I'm getting a bit worried, surely there must be some sharks around. I've got to get this fish off the reef fast. Try to untangle the fish from the reef here, it's all over the coral. Slowly get some line back, but it's stuck into this piece of coral here. There's a lot of commotion on, I know the sharks can't be far away. Coming up for air once again. I'm just scanning the area. There has to be a shark nearby. I can feel it. And I can sense a shark before I see it and look up to see this reef shark come buzzing in. I'm getting a bit nervous now. I really don't want to lose this fish. The reef shark circles me for a bit, checks out the scene but surprisingly isn't too interested and swims off back into the depths. Perhaps it's like the bronze whaler sharks back in New Zealand. They're not too interested in snapper generally. I swim down once again. I know I need to get the fish up this time in case some bigger model sharks come in. The shaft's really stuck in the reef here and I just have to go for it, rip it out and I've got the fish secured. So happy. Swim back up and I've got another nice move. Little did I know, all the noise of me ripping the spear out of the coral reef had brought in a nice GT. Just caught it here, swimming off behind me. It was a good size one as well. Unfortunately, I didn't have a loaded gun, so the GT got away to live another day. I spent a lot more time on the reef, trying to bring in some other species, but just not having much luck. With the sun starting to rise, I started to head back to base. I see another big turtle just cruising along above the sand. I follow this turtle for a while, and then it leads me to this piece of reef here and I can spot a big coral bommie out of the sand. It starts to get a bit more fishy, there's a GT down here below you can see swimming off. And I head towards the bommie thinking surely there must be some fish on there. As I'm approaching this big coral bommie I can see fish all over it. A couple of schools of bait fish with some larger predatory fish chasing them around. This is looking really promising. The closer I get, the more excited I get. I can see some big Maori sea perch, a couple of red snapper, among other species. I dive down, big long slow kicks, just trying to get in on these fish and get a shot off. fish are buzzing around in and out of the reef I just can't quite get a shot off I'm still recovering from my sickness chest infection and hugely blocked sinuses it's a struggle just to get down to this reef which is only 10 to 15 meters so I'm just taking it easy and not pushing it again just sinking down onto the reef these fish are being very, very tricky. 
As soon as they see me, they're just ducking under the coral there. Playing cat and mouse for ages. It's quite frustrating. But that's part of the fun of spearfishing. The hunt. The challenge. I love it. After playing cat and mouse with these fish for who knows how long, I finally see one of the moo, the red snapper, disappear into this cave here. I sink down slowly, 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 and the fish sees me, tries to make a run for it, and I just get a shot off in time. It looks like a good, secure holding shot, but I still need to get this fish out of that cave fast. Somehow I manage to get the fish out, I get a bit lucky and swim for the surface. And looks like it's a nice fish. I can see the shaft has entered the fish, upper body. It's a good holding shot, there's no chance of me losing the fish, so I just slowly work the fish up and get it into my hands. I really want to get one of these sea perch, snapper, whatever they are. I sink down once again. The fish disappears under the coral once again, but then emerges. I try to get a shot off here and just shoot a bit low. I go down for one last dive here. I get one last opportunity, take a long shot, but same again, just a bit low. Swimming back towards the beach, I see a little rainbow runner or similar. Yet another miss, definitely a sign to call it a day. Well, I just, just got in from the dive and hard going out there, speed gun wasn't quite shooting straight, I'm not sure. Or it's just that deceptive clear water, but um, shooting quite low on a few shots. Uh, what is, day is it today? Friday on Sunday. We're having a big umu, local cook-up style, so this is for the feast and uh, looking forward to it. <sighs> Couple of nice fish today. Uh, Moo, yep, again. Um, got this first one on the reef. Um, just made a bit of noise, touching the coral, all that stuff, and uh, came swimming in. Yeah, smashed that one, and then I swam out a bit further and found this nice big bommy out in deeper water and um, there are a couple of these ones on there but lots of these big um, yellow looking yellow looking snapper you'll see in the video but um, anyways happy of this one it's my uh, biggest one here so more so look at these teeth on there really cool so we've got a Sunday uh, cook up umu so fresh fish and uh, maybe some for lunch so Whew, stoked. Alright, lunch is ready. Um, they've cooked up the, the moo. Island style, fried it or boiled it, I'm not sure. It's uh, got rice. Rice, fried coconut here. Yeah? Yeah, coconut cream. And uh, this is the fish row. <laughs> they haven't fish eaten sausage. it. I said fish sausage, so uh, looks good. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's for you. <laughs> Why don't leave it there? Leave it there. Too much. <laughs> oh, some more like this. Uh, yeah. I asked them if they eat the fish row here. No row. Not, eat, not eating the fish eggs, so um, here it is. Mm, very good. <laughs> Not so good? Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, and the fish. Mm. It's fried, yeah? Or no, we'll cook with the coconut water. milk. Oh, mm. coconut milk. Yum. 
Mm, absolutely beautiful. Wow, it's good. So they cook the fish in uh, in the fresh coconut milk, and it is beautiful. It's some of the best best fish I've ever eaten. Mm. Seriously, um, gonna have to try this back in New Zealand with snapper and and kingfish. It's just so soft and moist. It's just beautiful. So and the sauce is coconut milk. Sauce coconut. Feast is on. I finished my feast off with Tapu, who so happened to be the chief of the whole village. He's a great man, he's humble, an excellent outlook on life, many laughs, many chats. I even got him to try the fish row, and it got the pass. After the beautiful feast with Tapu, it was time to pick up my mate Sam from the airport. He was going to join me for a week more of diving. Driving back through the beautiful mountains, I picked up Sam and it was time for a few cold beers, of course. Taula. A few cold ones, a few robots, and it was time to head back to introduce Sam to Tapu and get back into some diving. After settling into our fales, having a good sleep, recovering from too many violemas and taulas, it was time to hit the fisher once again. We got up at the crack of dawn, beautiful morning, ready to swim out over the reef and try spare some fish. It was a very quiet morning on the fish front, so I decided to head back to the bommy I dove a few days earlier and see if I could pick up one of these elusive perch. None of the perch to be seen, but there was another target species, one of the locals' favourites, so I didn't muck around and got a good shot on this one. Straight through the spine. End of fight for this fish. Awesome. Another fish for the umu. Down and up, down and up. Kept hunting, kept searching, trying to find some more fish. But it was very, very quiet. Hard diving this day. In the end we made the call to head back in. We had another fish for the umu and we're still a bit dusty from the weekend shenanigans so went back to our fales to relax. Hello guys, pretty tough diving this morning. Um, not a lot going on but a few fish runs as we came back into the end. Um, we got this, it's like a silver drummer in New Zealand but um, Similar species, it's kind of got all gold colours on it and stuff. It's very good eating here, they say. Um, so, yeah.
She only one drop. <laughs> Sam pretty much forgot half of the chip, so he's beaten with one, one bloody sock. All lifted up. Our feet are so sore. We played, um, played rugby last night with the, the local boys, local kids. The rugby field is it's just a basically a gravel pit with a, a little bit of grass in between, so our feet are just beaten up. But um, yeah, good fun. Played a bit of touch rugby. Pretty impressive, these kids. Hearty. All right, we're going to go check out the umu. They're just preparing it this morning, and uh, apparently we've got pig. One of the fish I speared the other day. Um, obviously taro, staple, and uh, we'll see what else. Let's go have a look. Ooh. What's going on here, man? Fresh. <whistles> yeah. How are you doing? How are you? Yeah, good, good. Fresh leaves. You caught any, 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 any fish? Yeah, one fish. All right, good. Yeah. Wow. Here's uh, my fish from the other day. Got some pork legs. Oh, what is this one? Super tasty. Oof. Pai babaya, right? Oh, smells amazing. Big papaya kind of stew. Got the taro leaves ready. Here's the umu heating up. Got all the rocks on top. It's gonna be beautiful. Getting some fresh taro ready. Ooh. Sorry guys, I've got no footage of the end result, but it was an amazing feast. One of the best feeds I've ever had. Absolutely delicious. Anyways, that's a wrap for the Samoa series. I hope you enjoyed it. An amazing country, amazing people, kind, generous, incredible scenery great diving and I only scraped the surface I'll definitely be back and highly recommend it cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure if you enjoyed that guys please consider hitting subscribe and giving me a thumbs up it really helps the channel out and if you want to support further check out my merch primalpursuit.co.nz thanks guys